So this is a portable hydraulic hose crimper. It has a inner pack 10,000 psi hand pump. It comes with eight sets of dies ranging from 10 millimeters all the way up to 31 millimeters. So in other words, it can crimp down to 10 millimeters and with the 31 millimeter dies, it can actually crimp up to 36 millimeters. So to put it into perspective, 10 millimeters crimping 1 8 R7 hose using the 31 millimeter dies where you can crimp up to 36 millimeters, you'll be able to do up to three quarter two wire hose and potentially maybe even one inch one wire hose as well. So what are the features? There's a micrometer dial here and you can actually set the crimp dimension so that when you get up to the correct crimp dimension as you're actually crimping and the dies are closing, once you reach the set crimp diameter, the light comes on. So you've got good repeatability from the micrometer setting. So once you've set it, you can then do multiple hoses. The dies are located with a pin and also two magnets. There's a little pin to locate it, but actually on the physically on the dies itself, there are some magnets in there that actually hold the dies in place. No quick change dies on these, they're, they're all manually inserted with the fingers. There's a removable tray to put all the dies in. So they're all in the correct position. 9 volt battery there which lasts quite a long time. Like I said this will also do up to 10,000 psi. This is great for actually going into confined spaces like where we use this, we've used this under trucks, we've used these in confined spaces, taking them on board marine vessels where sometimes they're extra long lengths of hose and you know we've actually cut out damaged sections of hose just to keep the vessel running. An alternative feature that we also offer on these units here this is the outlet pipe, it's a single acting system, there's actually internal springs in there that open the dies back up when you release the pressure. The other thing we do here is cut into this pipe and install a T-piece. We can then supply oil using an air over hydraulic pump which actually speeds up the, the crimping process. By installing a T-piece in there with a high pressure quick connect coupler we can actually connect our air over hydraulic pump and using compressed air and your foot basically to turn on and off the the oil you you can greatly increase the speed of crimping especially if you're doing multiple hoses or you need to get in and get out quickly but the other thing another amazing feature about this unit that we've also done in really confined spaces i mean for example if you undo these four bolts here and disconnect the pipe here we've actually connected a long flexible hose just to this barrel system the last time we used this it was actually on a jcb backhoe two of us were on this job i had this balanced on top of a, the differential the rear diff we had a very tiny um pilot hose that needed re-ending get them back up and running again the pilot hose came from the cab up on the joystick and then went down to the valve bank. We did a reasonably quick repair uh, to get them going again. They were on a tight schedule. They didn't, they couldn't afford the downtime to do the job properly. They didn't call us back. So whatever we did is still working. So there's a lot of flexibility on this unit because of its compact size. This, this will produce, I think, up to 80 tons of crushing force and a pack pump. So a good quality pump. We've sold loads of these. They're very, very popular, especially with uh, smaller operators who don't want to spend a lot of money on a big crimper. And like I said, we've got our own unit, which is great for very confined spaces and getting people out of trouble. So we've got a set of dies here. These are 27 millimeter dies. Uh, we'll need the 27 millimeter dies, the crimp dimension. I don't know if you can see 27 there. 27 there, 
So we'll put the 27 dies in. So it's the short end. So this is a piece of uh, Gates 582 wire hose. This is a two wire shell. JIC hose tail, 58 hose tail to 78 JIC female. The crimp dimension for this two wire hose with this two wire shell for 58 hose is 28.7 millimeters. We've got 27 millimeter dies. That means fully closed, they'll crimp to 27 millimeters. We need to go to 28.7, so the difference between 28.7 and 27 is 1.7 millimeters. So we'll wind this dial gauge in, starting at the zero. One revolution will take us to 28. Then we'll go to 28.7. So if we set 1.7 here, this should close 1.7 millimeters before 27, which is 28.7, which is our target crimp dimension. So let's give that a go. Close up. Close up the valve. Twenty-eight point seven millimeters. Theoretically, this little red light should come on. There we go. So we ease off on the pressure. Open up the die so you can remove the hose. Moment of truth. Doesn't quite look enough to me. Pretty close to 28.7. So you've got good repeatability. That's it, mate. Why are you continuing?